Alright, so let's watch the cutscene first, then I'll do the introduction. Alright, so there's like a storm at sea. And we are like sailing on like a boat. And there's like, there's like a heavy storm. So we're trying to hold on. Get struck by lightning. <laughs> the boat gets struck by lightning. And we end up like washed up on an island somewhere. There's like a girl. <laughs> and she finds us like uh, washed up on the beach of this island. <laughs> and so that's where the story begins. Nice music. Alright, so what's up YouTube? The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening playthrough part 1. Let's do it. Alright, so this giant egg is like the wind fish. And the whole point of this game is we have to collect a bunch of different musical instruments so we can hatch the wind fish and it can like teleport us off the island. So yeah, it looks really cool. Alright, new game. Enter our name. Alright, there we go. G-O-K-U. And we'll hit OK. And yeah, it looks really cool. I've seen like people online like with tattoos of it, of the windfish. It's like this whale and it's like rainbow colored. It's really, it looks really cool. Alright, so this is a uh, Marin. And she says, what a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? She says, no, my name is Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Koholint Island. Alright, she says, follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you were washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? Alright, so... Alright, this is Terran? He says, well, Goku, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. He says, what? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? He says, well, I saw it on the back of this shield. <laughs> so he gives us a shield. It has our name on it, I guess. <laughs> uh, it says, you got your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. So yeah, he figured out our name because our name is on the shield. <laughs> Alright, so this is uh, Terran. He says, oh yeah, some other stuff like this washed up on the beach. If you go look, watch out for monsters. Ever since you showed up, Goku, I've seen him all over the place. Yeah, so this is Terran, and this is his daughter, Marin. <laughs> uh, yeah. They just say, like, be careful of, like, the monsters and stuff. And, uh, yeah, we can't go through their stuff. They'll, like, yell at us. We try to touch their stuff. Says, this looks heavier than heavy. Your strength won't cut it. So we can't lift these pots or anything yet. I don't know if we need some kind of like uh in some Zelda games they have like a power bracelet kind of thing. So you can heft levy lift heavy stuff. <laughs> Alright, so this is Mabe Village. There's like a chicken. <laughs> 
Yeah, I wasn't trying to throw it that hard, but... So here's a little fox. Uh, here's a little kid. He says, hey man, when you want to save, hit up the system screen. You can get there by opening the sub screen with plus and pressing the R button to get to the system screen. Don't ask me what any of that means. I'm just a kid. <laughs> Alright, so this is Mabe Village. There's like six or seven little houses in this village. So let's just kind of explore them for a couple minutes, I guess. Shouldn't take too long. Well, this is Grandma Yahoo. This is Yahoo, I'm fine, and you? <laughs> Alright, so let's go see what's in here. Old Man Orira? Uh, this is Old Man Orira is a shy guy in person. So yeah, you can like call this guy and he'll give you like hints on like what to do and stuff. You can call him at this like telephone booth. So that's that's kind of nice, I guess. Oh, and we can't we can't go here. This is the game corner. It just has like little crane games and stuff you can play to unlock items. All right. Um, there's this house. It has like a chain chomp. <laughs> I don't know. They have like a chain chomp in a Zelda game. These chain chomps are usually from like Mario games. <laughs> All right. So this is Madam Meow Meow. She says, "Ho ho ho! My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat." Yeah. So I guess she raises these little chain chomps. Guess they're supposed to be like dogs or something. So that one's the name's Bow Bow, and this one is Chow Chow. This is makeup, jewels, dresses. I want it all. And some new accessories would be nice. Okay, so yeah. All right, let's read the sign. There's a fishing pond up ahead. So here's like a little fishing pond. I think we can go fishing here. Uh, there's a fisherman. He says, how about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. Um, we don't have any rupees. So we'll just come back later. You have to have more passion. Live a little. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we can go fishing there and catch fish. I'm not really sure what you do with the fish. Maybe it's just for fun. I don't know. Alright, so here's like a little decoration kind of thing. It says, here sleeps the flying rooster. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Alright, here's an item shop, I think. Alright, so here's an item shop. We can buy a shovel. We can get a heart piece. We can get another shield. I don't know if the shields break in this game. That's what it looks like. Heart piece. I really might want to come back and buy the shovel eventually. Um, right, so here's another sign. This east is... Cuckoo Prairie, and farther east is the Animal Village. Uh, here's another little kid. It says, well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last place you saved. Unless it's a dungeon, where you start at the entrance. So I'm not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. <laughs> Alright, so let's go in here. I think this is a last house. Okay, so it's like a family. This guy's name is Popple. He says, yep, those are my boys. I'm Popple. Pleased to meet ya. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. And this is Mamasha. 
says, with four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. Saw one at the trendy game, but I couldn't get it. So yeah, they have like four... <laughs> they have like four little kids. It's like two big beds and then four little beds. <laughs> Alright, so I think, yeah, that's it. That's Mabe Village. Let's go to the beach and see if we can find anything. Find our sword. Oh, there's, there's like a little... It's like a library kind of thing. Village library. There's like books here and stuff. We can read them. But I don't think we really need to read them right now okay so here's some more little kids uh this one says i heard you can press minus to look at the island map not only that you can stick pins in it with a and remember stuff with x so they just give us little tips on how to play the game it says but i don't understand what they mean by that This one says, I hear that when you're running out of hearts, you better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. <laughs> I don't know if we can eat the apples. Alright, so here's a sign. It says, Tail Cave to our right and Taranbo Shores down. Alright, so let's go to Toronbo Shores, to the beach area, where we washed up on the beach. This is beware of sea urchins, don't touch them with your bare hands. And this is why we have a shield. We can use the shield to push the sea urchins. Otherwise they would damage us. We would take damage. So we don't want to do that, touch them with our bare hands. Um. All right, so let's push this one. All right, and here we are. There we go. Found a sword. All right, so here's an owl. It says hoot hoot. So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. Courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there, Hoot. Alright, so we have to go to the It's telling us that we have to wake the windfish to get off the island. And we're gonna meet him at the mysterious forest. Alright, so let's pick up the sword. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. <laughs> yeah, it's mine. It has my name on it. <laughs> you can swing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. Man, I need one in like real life. Like, with my name on it. <laughs> Now we can, like, cut the grass and stuff. And, like, damage these little octopus guys. <laughs> I don't know what these do, these little seeds. Are they, like, little nuts? I don't know what they do. Alright, so we got two rupees. And dodge the little octopus guys. I don't like to fight them unless I have to. Let's see. I can't get the apples from the tree. I don't know. All 
Alright, so the mysterious forest is up here. Oops. We can access the game corner now. So... I just want to go peek inside. So yeah, here's the game corner. It's like a claw machine, and you can get the different items and stuff. So that's kind of cool. should try fishing. Let's try catching a fish. Just for, like, good luck. Alright, I think we need ten. Alright, how about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you ten rupees. Let's do fishing. Hold A and release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you'll cast. And tug on your line by moving L. If you want to reel it in a hurry, keep tapping A really quick. You got this, little buddy. <laughs> oh, man. This is way more like a... Uh, way more interesting than I thought it would be. Oh, I bit it. We got a bite. Oh man, we should try getting the big, like the biggest one. But that's all right. <laughs> we caught one. You landed a little fish, just like you. It's small, but it has plenty of fight. <laughs> it's a 10.31 inch runt. You gotta dream bigger than that. Fish like that, that's worth, let's see here, 11 rupees? <laughs> Says, is there something caught in this fish's mouth? Oh, we got a heart piece. You got a piece of heart? Very nice. Nah. Uh -huh. That's awesome. We got a heart piece. I think we need four pieces. And then we get an extra heart. So right now we have three hearts, and so we can get an extra heart. It'll give us more health. And we'll be able to take more damage. Um, Alright, so this is a mysterious forest. This is moblins ahead. They're not friendly. Like a little butterfly. Alright, so here's a mysterious forest. Here comes our owl friend. Uh, he says, "Who? Oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot. <laughs> Alright, so we have to go into the forest and find the key. And then we can go to the tail cave. Which is like the first dungeon kind of area. Cave slash dungeon kind of thing. Alright, so here's some moblins. That's what they're called. It's like a raccoon. Oh man. This is really like annoying a raccoon. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to him and see what he says. He says, as a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Alright, so that's kind of like a hint. And then if we try to walk into the fog, he says, hee 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 ho. 
you're going to be lost thanks to me. Hee <laughs> hee. So, like, he, like, plays, like, a trick on us. He, like, teleports us somewhere else in the forest. So we have to get past him so we can get the key to the cave. So we have to figure out a way to get past him. So he teleports us, and here's a fairy. Like a fountain. Here's a great fairy. Says you still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on. So she'll heal us to like full health. If we lose health, we can come back here and she'll heal us. Which is really nice. Uh, yeah, so the trick for these ones with the shields is uh, you have to let them attack you and then knock them back with the shield and then attack them. Otherwise, it's really hard to get a hit on them. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure we have to go that way. Let's just check around here. To see what's around here, like what else is around here. Yeah, we don't have to go this way. I think we need the shovel. If you have the shovel, you can cover these holes. And we should be able to get that heart piece once we have the shovel. Uh, oops. Alright, so just beware of floors with the cracks. Don't get too comfortable on them. Alright, so let's see. See what's in here. Alright. Let's open this chest. Alright, it's a purple rupee. It says you got 50 rupees. Very nice. So the purple one is worth 50. Let's continue to go inside this little cave area. I guess you could call it like a cave. Yeah, come out the other side. Alright. Okay, cool. Yeah, here's a little mushroom. So I'll grab the mushroom. Alright, so you pick the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. <laughs> okay, so now we have to go back the other way. Let's see. How should we do this? Push this one. Push this one. Push this one. Push that one. And push that one. And we can't lift this yet. I think we need like the power bracelet. And then we should be able to lift this and grab the heart piece. So we have to come back later. Once we can lift heavy items. And then we can grab this heart piece. We'll just have to remember that it's there. Oh, man. Alright. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, so we made it out. And so now what we have to do... Is, uh, this took me a while to figure this out the first time I played this game. I kept just trying to give the mushroom to the raccoon. <laughs> but that's not what you have to do. 
I thought maybe you just give him the mushroom and he would eat it or something. <laughs> but, uh... Okay, let's go talk. No, uh, we don't need the fairy to heal us. We already have enough HP. Uh, let's dodge this thing. It's gonna, like, shock us. Electrocute us. So here's like a little witch's house. And so we give the witch the mushroom and she'll turn it into like a powder for us. Alright, so she says, ah, it has a sleepy toadstool. It does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy, we will. She has like a crystal ball and like a skull. <laughs> A skull with like a candle on it. Since already it is, take care as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? Alright, so we got some magic powder. Open the subscreen with plus and set it to either X or Y. Alright, so she turns our mushroom into magic powder. And we need three more heart pieces for a full heart. So, we'll try to get some heart pieces eventually. Uh, I think that's it. This double double toil and trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. <laughs> it's like a little mouse. Alright, so, Coholent Prairie. Alright, so if we go to the right, it goes to Crazy Tracy. I don't know who that is. Uh, and if we go down, it goes to Manbo's Pond. Alright, so we have to go back into the mysterious forest. Oh man. We have like a hundred rupees, so that's kind of good. It's kind of nice. And we got a guardian acorn, and we'll reduce the damage you take by half. So it's only for like a limited amount of time. It reduces the damage we take. It's kind of nice. So now we talk to the raccoon. Just grab that. I hope he doesn't teleport us out of here. If we step too far that way, he'll teleport us. Okay, so we press Y and we use the magic powder on the raccoon. <laughs> And it's Terran. <laughs> Alright, he says, The last thing I, I can remember, it was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. <laughs> so you like ate a mushroom and turned into a raccoon. He says, yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Because I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. All right, cool. So now we can pass. And here's the key. We found the key. We got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. All right, so we got the key to tail cave. That's what we were trying to find in this forest. And uh, here's the owl again. He says, Hoot, take the key and go to tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The windfish is waiting. Hoot. So yeah, I think there's eight instruments total. There's eight of them. 
And then we wake up the windfish, and then we can leave the island. So that's like the whole game. Alright, so right to Gopanga Swamp, and down is the mysterious forest, the way we came. So here's another one of those telephone things. We can like, if we need a hint, we can use the telephone. But that's okay. Alright, so the sign says danger, keep out, except bow wow. So I think we'll need to come back there later. After we beat the cave, I think, then we have to go to the swamp. Try to collect as many rupees as we can. Alright, so we found the key. And in the next episode, we'll visit the cave. I was just trying to find the key for today. And I think that's a good place to stop. So we'll go back to the village. And then next time we'll do the tail cave. Cut all this grass really quick. I think we need 200 rupees for the shovel, so that would be nice. Just gonna try to save up for the shovel. Oh, and there's like a seashell. Um. All right, you found a secret seashell. But what do you do with it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that does. I honestly don't know. Uh, Alright, so here's uh, Marin. Uh, Alright, so he says, Hi. Oh, she says, Hi, Terran went to the forest to look for toadstools. But I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called The Ballad of the Windfish. Alright, so she's gonna sing a song for us. Nice little way to end the episode. So. This is the Ballad of the Windfish. That's a good place to stop it for today. Good place to stop for tonight. Um, yeah, that was uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening playthrough part one. I'll see you guys in part two. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you guys had fun. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys in the next video.